There are lots of moments in the house which give me a, a sense of real delight. But I guess one of the ones that I really like is the window mounted into the very thick wall near the top of the stairs. And the way that the walls either side of the window fan out and so the light hits the four walls in different ways every time you walk past it. And it's a kind of example of the way that the whole house is designed. I am Pete Bosley, I'm an architect, director of Bosley Architects, and I was one of the architects working on this wonderful project. So the project is located in Takapuna, on the shores of the Waitamata, the north shore of Auckland. The sound from the waves lapping on the shore is amplified by the overhanging suffetes. When you open the window, and you feel like you've got this intimate connection with the sea, like you're sitting right on the beach. My name's Finn Scott, and I'm a director at Bosley Architects, and I was a project architect and part of the design team on this project. It's a long, thin site, so it has an issue of relating to the sea at one end, and having the sun coming in from the north on the side of the site. But the house is designed to, to take advantage of that and to pick up on the flows of ancient streams running from Lake Pupuki out towards the ocean. So the brief for the house was really quite simple and quite sophisticated in a way. The client said, I'd like a house which is comfortable for me to be on my own, but it's also capable of accommodating the large, extending, growing family that I have. But he also said, in a very sophisticated way really, he said he wanted it to be a house with art rather than an art gallery to live in. My brief for the interiors was, I think, a little bit looser than the brief for the architects. They wanted it to feel generous, welcoming. They wanted it to be warm in temperature and in spirit. And they also wanted it to have a soul. I interpreted the rear as being unique and individual and the refined as being attention to detail. When working with the materiality of the home, the place is actually loaded with different products and finishes. The one thing that's similar about them all is that they have a patina, a craftedness. There's not a singularly toned surface, well, hardly any. There's always a sense of movement across the top of them. From the big elements in the house down to the small elements, we've crafted the, the textures and the touch. The front door handle has been shaped in a form that emanates the, the shape of the building above. One of the main materials in the home is the use of in situ concrete that allows you to manipulate the material into fluid free forms. So there are a number of curving sculptural walls that lead us into spaces and around and throughout the home. So there are a variety of windows and openings in this home that play an important role in drawing light deep into the plan. Natural light is incredibly important in the way that the house is articulated. There are multiple ways that light enters the house. In some cases the light comes in reflected off a reflecting pool and bounces up onto the curving ceiling and creates a lot of lovely dappled reflections. The reality of it was that we had some fun along the way and I think it showed in the quality of the design. The proof is standing here and seeing it 
There's a real sense of calmness. So there are a number of elements in this home that offer surprise. And I think a big one is the um, play on volumes in the space. I really love the fact that the clients have occupied it so well. The house really feels lived in, and so it really feels that they have taken the house on and the house has taken them on, and that, that gives one as an architect a really good feeling. <laughs>